I started by mixing enough resin for the base layer. The resin I used requires a 2 is to 1 ratio, 2 parts resin, 1 part hardener. Stir until the two parts are homogeneous. To minimize your bubbles, stir at a slow pace. I'm using a heat gun to pop air bubbles. I poured in the resin and spread it out. After using the heat gun, I let this sit for 3 hours. To replicate the scorpion's habitat, I will be putting some pebbles, rocks, and dried plants. The first layer was to make sure that the base will be smooth even with the pebbles. The scorpion that I will cast was my pet scorpion, it died 3 months ago and I was preserving it in a sealed jar and put it in the freezer. Be careful when mixing large volume of resin, as it cures faster. Using a heat gun while mixing also helps with the air bubbles. I put in the pebbles first, and then place the rocks on top. Now time to place the scorpion. I used some sticks to spread the legs for better visuals. Now, I am pouring the resin in the mold. I waited 24 hours for it to cure. It cured well, but there were uneven spots, and the scorpion wasn't fully submerged.
This was because the scorpion floated as I poured in the resin. I should have not flooded it right away. No worries, this is an easy fix. All I needed to do was to add another layer of resin. So I mixed a new batch. This will also serve as the top and final coat. I was careful in pouring as I didn't want it to overflow to the side. Please wear gloves when working with resin. Don't be like this idiot in the video. Taxidermy is another way of preserving a scorpion, but that's too complicated for me. This is only a small scorpion, so I thought that casting it in resin is the best way to preserve it. I covered while curing to avoid dust from getting in, I let it cure for another 24 hours. And there you go. Got too excited to demold it, forgot about the camera. The scorpion is now preserved, and it won't rot. So long Severus, my first scorpion. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching.